Hi, welcome to the fourth episode of the AirPods Pro website making. So today we will be covering from here bantle boxes to the earphone and to here and here the scroll animation as well. So first let's create a container with the width of 100 VW and the height of 100 VH. And I'm gonna connect it to the upper one. The distance would be 10 VH. No color, S7 container. And then I'm gonna create the box inside. And then I'm gonna create the constraints of each box so it's fixed to the uh, pairing container. all the colors and I have the text here pre-made here already and let's center it upload the background put it into the back and then set this as fill fill so so when you stretch your uh, browser it's gonna uh, fill into uh, the box and then set this as center as well and I'm gonna fix this with 9 VH, 11 VH. And connect this to here. And click content so it's gonna mask this off and there's actually a small animation here which is this line coming down and this earphone going up when you scroll so we will have to set it up there will be a stroke On the left hand side, zero, zero, zero for other sides. And there will be a circle. And to keep these two, connect the bottom of this to the bottom of the line. So when you drag it, it will follow. Now let's add a, a constraint, which is the line with the text. So this is going to keep it stable. To the right as of the container as well. And at 100 VH, let's select the line and add a keyframe. And let's go to 50. Drag this line to the top. Also to, also to create the fading effect, um, select this AirPod, start at zero, 
set the opacity as 10, 0 at a keyframe and then go to 80 set it as 100 okay and now let's move on to the next section so for the next part there's a line of text that aligns to the center of the page and there is this ear pods um silicon tips like coming out effect let's create a container 100 vw 100 vh and connect it to the last container s7 and set as zero and then put I have the text pre-made already and now let me import all the images So first, let's have these centered with each other and align so the tip of this one is matching the tip of this earphone. Also adding the size. Adding constraints. Left constraint. Six. Align all these together first. And group this thing together. I'm going to group these two together. And then, because I want it, these two to be at the center of this page, And then I'm going to set this container with S. 100 VW. Then center. Then I want this to be at the center of the page. And this one at 50 VW. And for the height of this container, 19, let's set it as hug. Okay, and now let's set the animation at 71 at the keyframe for this large tip and the corresponding text. And then go to 60. I'm gonna move this around 10 pixels, just pressing shift with my right arrow key. And then set the opacity to zero the text set it at zero as well so it's gonna create this like moving out effect 77 add a keyframe for this corresponding text and then go to 65 move right zero opacity zero opacity and then go to 82 add an image Add a keyframe, add a keyframe, go to 71, move right, opacity set to zero, opacity set to zero, and then go to 88, so 
So now when you scroll down, there's gonna have this one, like pushing out effect. And next, there this one is really easy. Uh, it's just two text box, and then having a background video. Create a box, hundred VW. Here it's sixty three VH. Close it. Align to the previous container with zero, and then make two bento box inside. Fifty VW. Fill. Copy. Align to right, and for this one, align to left. Zero. Um, text. Center it. Text. Center it. Insert the image. Fill space. Fill space. And we're done with this part. And next is having this earphone here. To the top. Insert the two text. Insert the image. There's a fixed size for this image. 559 by 450. Add a constraint at the top with zero. And actually, we want this bottom to align to the page center, but if we just click center, it's gonna, not going to be the real center because this side is pretty long. Create a box. We can do so by creating a box that is a similar size of this bottom and set it as center. Then align this to the center like this place is almost correct so I'm gonna bind the constraint in here a constraint as well make sure you have two constraints for all your elements so this one is having constraint a left, a bottom this text a right a bottom and then this like placement and this placeholder it has a center constraint and also a constraint to this earphone and this earphone is having a top constraint and the left constraint to the center and then another thing is that this paragraph is at the center of this text and the bottom line so what we're gonna do here is to draw a box from the bottom and it's actually just 50% of the container so if you set as 50 it's gonna work as well close it align the bottom and then put this text group inside And then align vertical centers so it's gonna always be in the center and I'm gonna align this to the left which is the left of this container and align this left container to this text and I'm gonna create the slide animation for here which is this one go down go up so we will have to create two green circles here put one here and then put the other on the top and close the top one first also to make this green circle sliding at the correct position uh, no matter like how big your screen size is we have to add a constraint for it as well add a top constraint Add a driver from this container at 50 I'm gonna add a keyframe for this green circle one and then at 70 I'm gonna bring this to where the second green circle is and then set this opacity to zero 
it starts from 80 and then goes up and becomes 70. And then for the second green circle, while it's closed at a keyframe at 74, while it's closed at a keyframe for green circle 2 at 74, and then go to 75 at another at another keyframe and open it starting at 80 and let's go to 95 bring it to the bottom opacity zero and last for these bundle boxes i'm gonna give the side a line stroke Okay, let's preview. And that's all for today's section. See you in the next episode.